For millions of women suffering from polycystic ovarian syndrome, trying to conceive can be a heartbreaking experience. PCOS is an endocrine disorder where women don't ovulate on a regular basis. So it's usually characterized by having irregular periods coupled with elevated male hormone levels. 32-year-old Manpreet Sangari was diagnosed with the condition after months of trying to get pregnant proved unsuccessful. That's when they told me I should go to a fertility doctor. Hearing all that was crazy because I was like, now you're, you're adding more people into the process of baby making, which should have been so simple. Manpreet went to see Dr. Jesse Hayde, medical director at New Way Fertility in New York City. After less invasive techniques failed to produce a healthy pregnancy and one round of IVF ended in a miscarriage. Dr. Hayde suggested a new procedure called in vitro maturation or IVM. Women with polycystic ovarian syndrome are the primary candidates for this procedure because they have lots of little immature follicles which lead to lots of little immature eggs. We then go ahead and harvest all these immature eggs, remove them, and then mature them in the petri dish. IVM requires less hormone medication than traditional IVF. For PCOS patients, that means lowering the risk of common complications like ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, which can be deadly. All we're doing is preparing the endometrium for implantation with hormones to basically estrogen hormones to prime the lining. But it's a matter of preparing the uterus for implantation of the embryos. The procedure was a success. In October 2013, Manpreet and her husband welcomed a daughter, Zoya. And they say this is just the beginning. And we're hoping Dr. Haid helps us get, yeah, we're get the have second a baby. With Dr. <laughs> For more information, log on to newwayfertility.com. I'm Laura Engel, Fox News.